I thought it was so cool because I'm like, ooh, okay, I'm not the only BCBA who's also using AI out here. Hi, I'm Dom, the BCBA mom, and welcome back to my channel. Sometimes when you're a BCBA, you find yourself falling behind because not only do you have to see your clients and you have to create treatment plans, there's so much paperwork, you have to do parent training, you have to disseminate and do PowerPoint presentations and go to conferences and present at conferences and do all of these things. And we all wish that we had like a tiny assistant that was just sitting here on our shoulder, making our job a lot easier. Thanks to some of the new technology that is out there now, we have tools like AI that can make our job as a therapist a lot easier, right? So we are not looking for AI to replace us as therapists, right? There's a reason why we have these credentials and there's a reason why we have this degree that only we can make these sound decisions as BCBAs. But there are certain parts of our job where we can like scoot this over to someone else so that I can focus on what really matters. So today I'm going to talk about artificial intelligence tools that we can use as BCBAs and RBTs to make our jobs just a little bit easier. We're talking about working smarter and not harder. Okay, the first thing I want to talk to you about is meeting note takers. So I use a platform called HoneyBook to schedule all of my meetings, all of my supervisions, um, just any inquiries that you may have that you may want to have with me, mentorship, consultation, anything like that. I schedule all of that through HoneyBook. HoneyBook has a lot of AI tools already embedded in there to help me with scheduling and automatically responding to emails. But they have this new tool where you can have a note taker join all of your Zoom meetings and take notes. This has been a game changer for me because when I have supervision, we always want to keep documents of what we talked about, the feedback that I provided, or the questions that some of my supervisees may have had. So now that I have this AI note taker that jumps into my session and notates everything that we talked about, it summarizes it, but then it also breaks it down verbatim what we talked about. So it's not that I'm just relying solely on AI summary of what we talked about, but it also breaks every single thing that we said down so that I can pull the dialogue and input that into my report as well. So an AI note taker can be a game changer because there's just sometimes you forget what you talked about or you forget what you said or you didn't have time to write it up right after the meeting because you had to go into another meeting. So an AI note taker, I literally was just on a Zoom call with another BCBA and both of us had our AI note takers in our session taking notes. So I thought it was so cool because I'm like, ooh, okay, I'm not the only BCBA who's also using AI out here. Another tool I use and I absolutely love is ChatGPT. Me and Chat, we're like this. And the more you use your AI software, the more it, it starts to recognize you, recognize what you need, recognize who you are, what you've accomplished. For a generative pre-trained transformer and ChatGPT can generate an answer to almost any question it is asked. Different from traditional chatbots, which rely on predefined rules and scripted responses. While chatbots can answer questions and perform basic tasks, their responses are more limited to what they have been programmed to say. These tools generally are based on decision trees, following a fixed path of questions and answers. Generative AI uses deep learning models to generate responses that can identify patterns to create unique responses to a user's input. Because answers are not scripted, Generative AI can create responses that mimic human conversation with natural language. Sometimes I'll go to ChatGBT and say, hey, Chat, can you roast my Instagram page so that Chat can use his artificial intelligence and go through my social media and give me some tips on what I can be doing better. Um, I use ChatGBT a lot in my social media persona. I'm the BCBA mom. It helps me write some of my scripts write some of my PowerPoint presentations when I am disseminating, but can also be used in our ABA practices. So for example, you are trying to write a session note, but, 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 but,
you may have a passive writing style or you're very new in this field and you really don't know what should be in your session notes. You can put a prompt in chat GBT and say, hey, chat, I'm a new BCBA. I just had a session with a kiddo and these are the things that we worked on. Can you write a four sentence session note that encompasses everything that we just did? And or you've already written your session note, but you don't like the way it's looking and your reports are not objective enough. So you can put your own thoughts, your own observations into ChatGBT and say, can you make this report more professional? Can you make this report in a fun tone? Can you put it in a professional tone? Can you put it in a serious tone? And it can convert that for you. Once again, whatever you put in ChatGPT, you always want to review it before you send it out, right? So we can ask, ask ChatGPT to, can you please write me a task analysis for brushing teeth, right? And once they do that and they're going to give you everything that you need, um, you may want to review it because ChatGPT is not a BCBA. So you have to review it and take out words that don't make sense. Take out words that are not based in applied behavior analysis. Take out words that are subjective, but it can give you a good platform to start so that you're not sitting there just waiting to start. It can help with some of that behavior momentum and just get you started. Some of the prompts that you can put into ChatGBT can be parent communication. Prompt example, write a professional email explaining the importance of positive reinforcement to a caregiver in a clear, non-technical way. Another prompt is simplifying jargon. So sometimes we write these rigorous plans and then we give it to the caregiver and then they have no idea how to implement it. So chat GBT, we can put something like our intervention plan or parts of our intervention plan into chat GBT and say, hey, can you reword this and make it relatable, understandable um, so that people can replicate it and carry it out. Once again, after you do that, you want to read over it and make sure you agree with everything that is being put in there, okay? Because once again, we are not being replaced by artificial intelligence, but our skill sets can be enhanced by artificial intelligence. So let's say you wanna come out with a series of trainings that you want to provide to the local library or that you wanna to provide to schools. Um, you can go down the task list and say, hey, chat, can you create me some curriculum that is associated with each task on the task list so that you can break something, something big, like understanding some of these concepts into really small steps that are um, understandable, relatable, or if you're doing a bunch of trainings and you want it to be interactive and engaging, you can put an ABA procedure into ChatGPT and say, hey, can you give me some examples of how to bring this topic or how to bring this procedure to life, how to make this an exercise within my training? Oh my gosh, writing emails. It's like, I can pass a BCBA exam, but I dread writing emails. So I use ChatGBT to just put my thoughts in there. And then I'll say, now, now create this into a professional email that I can send to my supervisor, to the CEO of the program, to a caregiver. The last thing that I am working on mastering is I had it written down. I think it's called Typeset. So Typeset is another AI tool that I was put on and my goal by the end of the year is to master it. But um, for those of us who spend a lot of our time doing trainings and creating PowerPoint after PowerPoint, slide after slide is very labor intensive. So this is an AI tool where you can take your script, everything that you wanna say, you put it into the AI platform and then it creates slides for you that have bullet points that are beautiful and that are just amazing. So it just takes away all of that labor intensive work out so that you can focus on what is it that you need to be doing, which is actually disseminating the science. 
So once again, before you start with that presentation, you wanna go through all of the slides and make sure that it is truly behaviorally sound, it is ethically sound, and that is one way to work smarter and not harder. That is one way that you can spend more time focusing on your clients, focusing on supervision or focusing on self-care because you're not spending hours and hours and hours creating PowerPoint trends, okay? So I hope you found this video helpful. Hopefully you're not afraid of AI. At one point I was afraid to use AI because I thought it was going to replace me. But what I'm noticing is it, it is definitely enhancing my quality of work. And if my quality of work is enhanced, then it enhances the quality of care that I can provide. Okay, so that is all that I have for you today. If you enjoyed anything from this video, please do not hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Just a disclaimer, if you are using an AI note taker for something that is confidential, that is under HIPAA compliance, never compromise client privacy or HIPAA compliance when using these tools.